MRI imaging is one of the greatest advances in diagnostic medicine. There's no question about that. But like any technology, there are some concerns. Since the technique depends on exposure to a large magnetic field, the patient cannot have any metallic objects on them or in them that would be attracted to a magnet. Neither can there be non-magnetic materials in which a current can be induced by a magnet. That includes clothing that has silver threads. Such items, mostly exercise clothing, are claimed to reduce the odor of sweat since silver can kill bacteria on the skin that are responsible for odor. Now here's the problem. As Michael Faraday first showed 200 years ago, a moving magnet can induce a current in a conductor, and a current in a conductor can induce a magnetic field. In an MRI, the giant electromagnet produces a fluctuating magnetic field that can then induce a current in silver fibers the fiber can get hot enough to cause a burn. This is why clothing that claims to counter odor with the help of silver should not be worn in a magnetic resonance imager. Another example of this effect is an induction stove. There's a large coil of copper wire underneath the ceramic top that generates a magnetic field as an alternating current flows through it. That fluctuating magnetic field in turn generates small circular currents in the pot as long as it is made of a magnetizable metal that also has a high resistance to the flow of electric current, which generally means iron or stainless steel. These are known as eddy currents, the term deriving from analogous current seen in water due to localized disturbance, such as when water goes down the drain. Eddy currents can be demonstrated with a classic experiment that involves dropping a strong magnet down a metal tube. The moving magnet induces a current in the metal, which in turn produces its own magnetic field. That magnetic field opposes the field of the falling magnet, much like poles of two magnets can repel each other. Gravity acts on the magnet pulling it down, but the eddy currents create a magnetic field that resists the motion. All right, of course, easy to talk about. Wouldn't it be better to do a demo? So here we have a metal tube. It's actually made of, of, of copper. And I have a piece of metal here, which is non-magnetic. Non-magnetic, uh, doesn't stick to anything. But look, I'm just going to drop it through and I'm going to have to be very quick and catch it. As you can see, it just drops through without any problem as gravity dictates. <laughs> but now I have a piece of magnet and watch what happens. I will drop this through. No trickery here. It is just a tube and a magnet, and look what happens. That is all due to the eddy currents. So what's the takeaway message here? No metals inside an MRI machine, but when it comes to cooking, that's a different story. You have to have a pot that is made of a magnetizable metal. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.